Hi everyone, I'm Shailen here with Reedsy. Today let's talk about writing flash fiction. We've already done several videos on writing short stories and I will leave those in the description for you to check out, but flash fiction is an entirely different challenge. Although flash fiction is a type of short story, it's a very specific type of short story that has its own unique challenges, but also its own unique features. In some cases, a flash fiction piece can even be closer to a poem than to a short story. Because flash fiction is so short, it can deliver shocking pieces that leave a very lasting impression on the reader because they provide so much in so little. It can be hard to forget a very short but very impactful piece of fiction. Now typically definitions consider flash fiction to be anything under 1500 words, but plenty of flash fiction doesn't even come close to pushing that upper limit. There are flash fiction pieces that are only a sentence or two, and plenty of flash fiction pieces play around in that 500 to 600 word range. Remember, flash fiction piece isn't just a pared back short story, it's an entire form of itself. Rather than focusing more on plot or character like a typical short story, although it has both those things, Flash fiction focuses on movement. Every single word needs to progress the story in a vital way because there are so few words. As a result, learning to write flash fiction is a vital exercise for writing all types of fiction and really any form of writing. Although it may not be as time consuming as a novel, they're definitely not easy to pull off. But if you can master the flash fiction form, those skills will transfer really beautifully to other styles of writing. So that said, here are the do's and don'ts. Number one, do tell a story. Although you can't stress plot, i.e. a chain of multiple events, there should still be a story, i.e. there should still be change. That means there's conflict, change, and tension. Without those three things, you kind of just have an image or situation, but it's not really a story. The story will still have a beginning, middle, and end. Each of those sections will just be very, very short. Number two, don't tell too much. If you use too much telling and not enough showing, your flash fiction piece will read like a text message. But this also means that you don't want to include too much. You simply don't have the space for it. You want as few characters as possible, as few events as possible, minimal plot points, the fewest details possible to articulate the setting and the story. Flash fiction will force you to pare back your story down to the fewest but most crucial details as possible. So like in all writing, you want to aim for really strong details rather than an abundance of details, but writing flash fiction will really force you to do that. You also do want to write with the form in mind. Flash fiction is a very specific form that has its own specific restraints, and if you're not really considering them, You'll probably just end up with a short story, you'll probably just end up going over the word count. Qualities of flash fiction are intense prose, precise language, strong voice that defines the character, a powerful central image, a punchy or revelative ending, and the most meaning in the fewest words possible. Make sure your idea is both very small but intense enough to pack a punch in this very short form. It doesn't need to be flashy, but there should be some kind of impact to be gained. Sometimes ideas that are too subtle actually need more space to be fleshed out. Next up, don't be too overt. Now the form is straightforward because it's so short, but a common pitfall is making it too overt or too blunt. This can lead to the piece feeling cliche or melodramatic. Original wording is a cornerstone of this form. You can do really fun things with language and voice, so especially make sure to avoid cliche phrasing or messy wording. You've got so few words that every single one should be adding something and contributing something vital. You also want to avoid situations that are familiar but also just have inherent drama, say a funeral. We've seen this situation before and we know there's inherent emotion involved, and in such a short piece you actually probably don't have enough space to turn something very familiar into something nuanced. When it comes to flash fiction, even though it is such a small piece, it also means that it doesn't take much to lose the reader's attention. They're expecting to be drawn in immediately because the piece is so short. So if you begin with something relatively familiar, it can be hard to convince them that this very short piece is going to be worth the read or is going to pack a punch in the end. Leading to our next point, which is do be enigmatic. Good flash often ends on an enigmatic note or has some kind of enigmatic quality throughout. It is a fantastic form to play around with weird or high concept writing or try something experimental with voice or form. Try to include all of the crucial information in the first paragraph or two so the situation is completely set up right from the start. Then you have the rest of the story to dig deeper into the situation or the character. Ending can be shocking and it often is, but it doesn't need to be. 
However, what the ending should do is deepen the story, deepen what came before. The ending of a flash fiction piece is stronger when it makes everything that came before more impactful, more relevant. Think of it as the ending adding clarity to the story. Flash fiction is one of the few forms where it's actually okay to kind of keep your reader confused throughout because the piece is so short. Think of the last line of a flash fiction piece as being like the punchline to a joke. The reader is intrigued all the way throughout, but the last line or the last paragraph is what makes it all fit together. And finally, don't be too ambiguous. On the other hand, an enigmatic beginning can be confusing. Although, like I said, it's okay to have some kind of enigmatic element to your story, if it's just simply too confusing, it'll be hard to bring the reader in and convince them this story is worth reading or that they'll have anything to take away from it. Share details in a clear, articulate way and only offer new and interesting details with each sentence. In a flash fiction piece, you rarely need backstory, exposition, or flashback. These things can really bog down a story and they take away from the focus of the piece, which should be quite narrow. Don't try to do too much. It'll money the power of what you already have. Good flash does one thing really, really well. Trying to do too many things in such a short piece can lead to the piece feeling confused, like it doesn't really know what it's trying to accomplish. So to summarize, flash fiction is a form of short fiction that is under 1500 words. When writing a flash fiction piece, you want to make sure you're still telling a story even if it's very short, and write with the unique qualities of the form, such as intense prose, precise language, powerful imagery, and a punchy ending in mind. Remember, the form is so short that it's a great place to be experimental and enigmatic. On the other hand, don't tell too much, meaning both that you want to use your show-don't-tell skills, but also not include anything redundant. And try not to be too overt, since this can lead to the piece feeling melodramatic or cliché. Finally, you don't want to be too ambiguous, so the reader feels like they've taken something away when they get to the end. So that is how to write flash fiction. Have you ever experimented with this form? So thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.